Hola clase, soy el Señor D aquí con otro video. Uh, estamos aquí para aprender mucha gramática de la, del capítulo 4. So, vamos a empezar aquí con marcador rojo. Um, we got the letter A. Many different translations for capítulo 4. So let's just draw some lines here. And I'd like you to write exactly what I'm writing on your note sheet. Para aprender, comprender y recordar todo. First, the letter A means to. That is the main translation of A in Espanol. It can also mean on with various phrases. It doesn't mean on by itself, it has to go with some of these phrases. It can mean at when you're telling time. The letter A means at only when you're telling time, at three o'clock, at four o'clock. And then we have this thing here called the personal A. Ah. Highly confusing, little difficult. We'll see it in an example here in a second. So let's look at numero uno. It says, voy a la escuela. This letter A here, voy a la escuela. That is two. So that is a direct translation of the letter A here, two. I go to school. Example numero dos, voy a pie or llego a pie. Here is an example of when the letter A means on. Voy a pie, I go on foot. Llego a pie, I arrive on foot. Numero tres, examples of letra A meaning at, because we're telling time. Voy a las ocho or llego a las ocho. I arrive at eight. I go at eight. So this is at eight o'clock. Más ejemplos aquí. Número cuatro. Llegamos a tiempo. We arrive on time. So another translation of letter A meaning on. We arrive on time. Llegamos a tiempo. Now, here, examples in numero cinco, pers the, the personal A. And I'm going to tell you right now, it has no translation to English. If you can understand what a direct object is, I'll explain this to you. The personal A is used when the direct object in this sentence is a person. And normally a direct object is the object receiving the action of the verb. Let's look at these examples. First example, miro la pizarra. I look at, first we need to understand, miro by itself means I look at. So we're not translating at when we use mirar. I look at the board. The board is the direct object that's receiving the action. You're looking at the board. Now, the board is not a person. So we don't need the personal a. Ah. Personal a ah is used when the direct object is a person. So let's look at this next sentence. It says, I look at the teacher. Now again, this letter A does not mean at. It is the personal A. Ah. It does not have an English translation. Miro by itself means I look at. The letter A here has no English translation, but it's in the sentence. It's in the sentence because the direct object is a person, a teacher. Miro a la maestra. Two more examples of the personal A. Ah. This sentence here says, I ask Mr. D a lot of questions. 
translate the personal a here? I don't know how to. Pregunto al señor D muchas preguntas. Now, the personal a contracts with L, because a lot of times in Spanish we don't just say señor D, we say L señor D for some reason. Maybe because I'm cool. So, this is a plus L here, but it's still the personal a. Last example, el señor D enseña a los alumnos, a los alumnos. Alumnos are students, that's people. I refer to you as people, yes. El señor D enseña a los alumnos. Again, this letter A has no English translation. It is called the personal A. The students are receiving the action of the sentence. The action is teaching. Mr. D teaches the students. Personal A, no English translation. It is there. So that's the personal A, and I bet you'll spend the next three, four years of your Spanish career understanding it, using it, and knowing when to apply it. Let's continue here. So that's leaving the letter A. Many translations, many ideas. You've got to keep all that straight. Real quick recap of contractions. Some contractions here. A plus L equals Al. De and L means del. Now in a second we're gonna dive into we're gonna dive into the word de here. Let's put me up there. There's de. We know de as of or from. But here's a contraction, de and L combine to make del. Now keep in mind. This word is completely different than this word. It does not contract with he. It only contracts with L, meaning the. And they do not contract with los, las, or la, the other three words for the. Okay, let's move down here to the word day. Uh, chapter 4 would like us to discuss day. And there's three translations of day. It can mean of, from, and in some cases it can also be translated as about. So let's go over some examples of how this is used. Soy de los Estados Unidos. So here the word de would be I am from. You could say I am of the United States. But I think in English we generally say from, I am from the United States. And I guess I should have capitalized Estados Unidos. Numero dos. De que hablas? Here's the verb hablar, to talk. This is kind of like how we say, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Someone says something to you, you have no clue what they're saying. De que hablas? What are you talking about? I am talking about the homework. So here, day is represented by about. Okay, so there's some examples of, of, I'm sorry, there's examples of from and about. Here's where the word can mean of. And I'm actually going to start with the last example, Robert Scissors. We technically do not translate apostrophes in Spanish. There is no apostrophe in Spanish. So, this is how you do this. You take Robert over here, you put scissors over here. Las tijeras de, we'll call him Roberto. So we're not translating the apostrophe S, it disappears. Apostrophe S does not exist. So we're saying the scissors of Roberto. Let's look at example three. El libro del Señor D, the book of Mr. D. It's basically saying Mr. D's book. Numero cuatro, de quién es la computadora? That's kind of saying, of who is the computer, meaning, who does this computer belong to? But we don't use to in this example in Espanol. We say, de quién es? Whose is it? Es la computadora de Angelica. So there's... 16 different grammar points in a video that's less than 10 minutes. Gracias, clase. Ojalá que 
tu mires este video and not just copy notes from your amigo. Adiós.